Hello, and welcome to the tip-off of the 2016-17 Hoop Shoot season. For its 45th year, the Hoop Shoot will be helping children and communities across the area compete, connect, and succeed. The 2017 Hoop Shoot National Finals will be held April 22, 2017 in Chicago. We had an overwhelmingly positive response from our first year in Chicago and are really hoping that this year was going to be even better still. This webinar is entitled Fantastic Packets and Where to Find Them. It will cover everything that you will need to know about the Hoop Shoot Packet, including where and when you will be receiving it, what it contains, and how you can use it to make your contest as good as possible. How am I an expert on the Hoop Shoot Packet? I literally wrote the book on it. Not only that, I wrote, printed, and shipped the packet to you. My name is Billy Donnelly, and I am the Youth Programs Associate at the Elks National Foundation. It is my responsibility to ensure that all of our youth programs volunteers, like Hoop Shoot directors, have everything that they need to do their job right. The very first step in this process is providing the Hoop Shoot Packet, a resource that is needed by first-year volunteers, 45-year volunteers, and everyone in between. The Hoop Shoot Packet is an incredible resource, however, you can't use it unless you have it. The first step in using your packet is getting your packet. The 2016-17 Hoop Shoot Packets were mailed between mid to late August in 2016. One packet was sent to every lodge, addressed to the lodge secretary, and shipped to the address that the lodge secretary provided as the mailing address in CLMS. Packets are shipped in a priority flat a priority mail flat rate envelope that looks exactly like this, and a bright orange sticker that reads 2016-17 Hoop Shoot Materials was stuck to the packet. Let your lodge secretary know that one is on the way. Keep an eye on the incoming mail or on your lodge secretary's desk to make sure that this packet does not get lost in the shuffle because it is very important for you to have. Why was the Hoop Shoot packet mailed to the secretary and not the Hoop Shoot director? Excellent question. This is because before the Hoop Shoot Director can do their job, the Lodge Secretary needs to do their job. Each packet has a cover letter addressed to the Lodge Secretary, as well as these provided instructions on bright yellow paper on how to appoint a Hoop Shoot Coordinator in CLMS. If your Lodge Secretary gives you the Hoop Shoot packet and this bright yellow sheet is inside, give it back to the Secretary and tell them they need to appoint a Hoop Shoot Coordinator in CLMS. This position was created last year and is tied directly to the Director's Dashboard and only the Director's Dashboard. This position is separate from the Hoop Shoot Director position in CLMS. Every Lodge needs a Hoop Shoot Director to run the contest and a hoop shoot coordinator to do the online requirements. These two positions can be held by the same person, however they don't have to be. Only an appointed hoop shoot coordinator can access the online director's dashboard. So when your secretary gives you this packet, make sure that they have appointed a hoop shoot director and a hoop shoot coordinator. There are two positions, two appointments, but it can be one or two people. Much like the online resources in the Director's Dashboard, this packet can be broken up into two parts. There are contest materials and promotional materials. The contest materials include the pocket manual, rules and guidelines for volunteers, a certificate of insurance, registration forms, and scorecards. All of these will be of assistance to you during the course of your contest. I want to talk about the pocket manual first because it does contain the most information. It is a one-stop shop of hoop shoot knowledge, the equivalent of a hoop shoot cheat sheet, and we even made it small enough to fit in a pocket or a purse so you should be able to carry it with you throughout the entirety of your contest. But just carrying the pocket manual isn't enough. It can be the hoop shoot director's best friend. You should read the pocket manual in its entirety before the day of your contest. You don't have to memorize it, but familiarize yourself with it in case you need to use it for reference. Even experienced hoop shoot directors need to flip through the pocket manual at the start of every season. Things change every year. They can be really handy while setting up the gym or during the contest if a rule is challenged. Keep your contest volunteers close, but your pocket manual closer. Speaking of contest volunteers, the next piece of the Hoop Shoot Packet that I want to talk about is the rules and guidelines for contest volunteers. This double-sided glossy paper will be a great resource not only to you, the Hoop Shoot Director, but to all of the people that help you hold your contest. One person cannot hold a Hoop Shoot. It takes a whole team, and this sheet gives your team the strategy it needs to succeed. 
Before assigning volunteers, read this sheet to learn what roles you will need and the responsibilities that come with those roles. You can then assign your volunteers to those positions accordingly. You know your volunteers best. Make sure that you are utilizing their strengths the day of the contest. If they follow these rule and guidelines, they can't go wrong. Make sure that all of your contest volunteers have access to this information and have read and understood their rules and guidelines before the start of your contest. This certificate of insurance is included in every packet. The organization that runs your gym, be it a school district, diocese, or any other organization may want to see this as proof of insurance. This is a generic form that is applicable across the board. Please feel free to provide it to them upon request. Some organizations may require that their name be listed specifically on the insurance form. This is not a problem at all. Please contact the Hoopshoot office by emailing hoopshoot at elks.org or calling 773-755-4758. You will simply need to provide the name of the organization and the date of your contest. The Hoopshoot team will work with the insurance company and get a new certificate of insurance written specifically naming the requested organization. We will then email you the new insurance form. Each packet contains 12 registration forms. These 12 forms are to be filled out by you and a parent or guardian of the six contest winners and the six contest runner-ups. You will use the, the information on these forms to enter your lodge winners into the director's dashboard and advance them to the next level of competition. Please make sure that this form is filled out in its entirety and everything is written legibly. These forms will follow each contestant through the hoop shoot season until eventually the 72 national finalists forms end up in the hoop shoot office in Chicago. This is why contact information and the parent or guardian signature is important for every form. Finally, two scorecards are included. These cards are a great help to contest volunteers and can, and can help make scorekeeping more accurate. Make sure that these are used by the official head scorer during your contest. These scorecards and every other contest material in, in your packet, as well as additional resources, can be downloaded and printed from the director's dashboard online, but we will talk more about that later. Using these contest materials effectively will make sure that your contest goes off without a hitch. However, it will not make sure that contestants come to compete. That is why included in your packet you will find a variety of promotional materials. The poster, how to host trifold, brochure, and grit piece are designed to spread the word of the hoop shoot throughout your community. Use these and other materials and videos from the director's dashboard to try to increase attendance at your contest. But remember, the most valuable promotional tool is you. Make sure that your contest is scheduled at the best time for your community. Do the legwork and try to get involved with local schools, scout troops, youth organizations, etc. You will get out of it what you put into it. If you promote it, they will come. The Hoop Shoot poster is the most versatile of all the promotional materials. Since every contest is different, spaces were left deliberately blank for you to fill in with a permanent marker. Make sure to write legibly and put all of your contest information on every poster. Then make sure they are visibly hung in high traffic areas. Remember, once your contest information is put in public view, it should not be changed. Make sure that your information is accurate before promoting it. Dates, locations, and times should not be advertised unless guaranteed. Preliminary contests can be a great way to increase the number of children you reach without overcrowding your contest. It can also be the most convenient way for contestants to compete. Preliminary contests can happen at school and gym classes, during after-school care programs, at scout meetings, or countless of other places where children are already in attendance. Reach out to local youth leaders and provide them with the how to host a preliminary contest trifold. Let them do the work for you. The Hoop Shoot brochure is one of the best ways to provide information about our program. Make sure to pass them out to families, schools, youth organizations, or anyone else you are connecting with while preparing for your contest. It is something that can be taken home, read, and researched, and it is a great way to promote the program, not just in your community, but across the country as well. One of the best ways to promote the Hoop Shoot is to show what the contest does, not just what it is. What a hoop shoot contest does is very important. It helps develop grit. You've heard me say, and you've probably seen yourself, that the hoop shoot helps kids build character, learn the lesson of hard work and practice, and show grace and sportsmanship.
All of these qualities and more can be covered by an um, umbrella term known as grit. In essence, grit is the ability to succeed in the face of long odds, but it is so much more than that. It encompasses all of the things that are learned along the way. It can be used to help define the undefinable. Either you have it or you don't, and contestants that do well on the hoop shoot have it. Contestants that don't do well can use the hoop shoot to develop grit, to practice harder, to want to win more, to earn the right to be there, and to make a comeback. Taking something that is fun like basketball and letting children develop these life lessons, this grit, can ensure that they will be successful both on and off the court. Check out the Gridios, a series of videos to showcase how the hoop shoot has been instrumental in six national finalists' growth as players and as people. Watch these videos and use them to show parents and elks how important the hoop shoot can be and what kind of impact it can make. Although it is not included in the packet, it is worth mentioning that you can promote the hoop shoot online using the director's dashboard. Enter your contest information online. After it is complete, anyone will be able to look up your contest information simply by entering in their zip code. This is a great resource for people who can't be reached with posters and brochures. Give them the opportunity to come find you using this online tool. Every hoop shoot is different because every community is different. If the hoop shoot packet does not include everything that you need for your community, there are ways to get more. Online copies of all of these supplies and more can be found on the director's dashboard. You can download anything that you like and print it to fit your needs. If you would like additional supplies mailed to you from the Hoopshoot office, please just email us at hoopshoot at elks.org or call us at 773-755-4758. We don't have an unlimited amount of supplies, however, we would be more than happy to supervise you with, with additional copies of any of the supplies we talked about here. If you have any questions about the Hoop Shoot packet or anything else about the Hoop Shoot, please feel free to contact the Hoop Shoot team anytime. Thank you very much for listening, and I wish you and your contestants the best of luck in this 2016-17 Hoop Shoot season.